What I'm saying is that science is a way of discovering what is in the universe and how those things work together. How they worked in the past and how they are going to work in the future. This actually gives a kind of a trail that makes science very exciting. What you need to bear in mind is that science can both be operational as well as historical. Now, operational or observational science, a systematic approach to understanding the universe, based, this is important, based on observable, testable, repeatable and falsifiable experimentation to understand how the universe works. In other words, operational or observational science allows us to understand how things work. Let me give you an example. It is operational science that explains how the DNA codes for protons in our body. It is this type of science that allows us to look for cures or to, to actually manufacture cure for diseases. It is this type of science that actually helps us put a man on the moon, build satellites and telescopes, and make products that are actually useful to human beings. Here's one thing. The past is past. What happened yesterday is not directly observable and cannot really be repeated, nor can it be falsifiable. In other words, the past is not directly, the word directly is important, observable, testable, repeatable, and falsifiable. This implies that the interpretations of past events present greater challenges than interpretations of present events. This leads to what I call historical science. Historical science, on the other hand, is interpreting evidence from past events based on a presupposed philosophical point of view. Now, let me explain. Let me explain. Take for example, there are a group of people that believe in a deity, in a God. And there are a group of people that believe that God doesn't exist. Now, these two groups of people interpret evidence from the past with a different philosophical point of view. And because they have a different philosophical point of view, their interpretation leads to different results, even though they are presented with the same evidence. What I'm saying is, technically, we can divide science into operational or observational or historical. Operational science or observational science is a systematic approach to understanding the universe that uses observable, testable, repeatable, and falsifiable experimentations to understand how nature works. In other words, Observational science or operational science help us to understand the laws, the theories that govern how things work. For example, the law of gravity is discovered through observational science because we can actually observe it work. 
On the other hand, historical science interprets past evidence to understand how things happened in the past. For example, the universe had a beginning and most scientists believe in a theory called the Big Bang Theory that created the universe. No one was ever present when the universe was created. Have you ever wondered how the earth was formed? How the sun came to be how it is? You know, in the solar systems, there are eight major planets, four terrestrial planets and four Jovian planets separated by an asteroid belt. Now, the unique organization of our solar system happened in the course of billions of years. As a matter of fact, it is estimated that our solar system is 5 billion years old. The question is, or the problem is, nobody on Earth has ever lived to be 5 billion years old alive. So how do we know? How do we know how the Earth, the solar system was formed? We can only infer about what happened based on the evidence that we have at hand that we call historical science, interpreting past events based on a particular point of view. Everybody, including you, including me, has a philosophical point of view. For example, I can hold this cup Based on my point of view, I will interpret this cup different or this glass different from your point of view. So our presupposed philosophical point of view actually governs or predicts the results of our interpretations of past events. If you believe that God exists, then you can certainly conclude that God created the universe and he therefore orders everything to work the way it is. But if you believe that God does not exist, then you certainly would think that there is a natural process through which everything was created. Therefore, based on your belief system, your pre disposed philosophical point of view, how you interpret the evidence at hand will vary, even though we have the same evidence. 